Hey, this is Russ. You know, the last couple of videos I made had to do with Rad Power Bike's most requested model ever. <laughs> yeah, they were teasing us. So I kind of guessed what I thought would be the type of bike everyone would want and uh, would request. Well, that's not what they were talking about. They were saying this is the most requested model ever, not most requested e-bike. <laughs> yeah, it's not an e-bike. The most requested model is an e-trike. So uh, many of you commented on both of these uh, videos, and and uh, I got the distinct impression that none of you really wanted to get one of these. Yeah, of course you wouldn't. Unless you had a reason to get an e-trike, you wouldn't get one. And many of us actually have e-bikes, so why would we need an e-trike? Well, you have to remember, too, that there's a number of people who have mobility issues, and they can't ride an e-bike. These are the people who they are going for, okay? They're going for people who, who want to be outside riding along with you, but they can't do it on the e-bike. So the e-trike comes into play, right? So today's uh, video is not a review of the e-trike. We're just going to look at the specifications that they talked about on their website, and we're going to talk about that, okay? I just want to make that clear because I remember the last time I did a video similar to this is when Rad last year introduced their um, their bike that replaced the Rad Mini Step Through. So what they did um, with that bike is they turned it into the um, the Rad, uh, what was it called? The Rad Expand 5. <laughs> so a lot of people said, hey, you can't do a review like this without the bike. It's not a review, okay? It's just, we're going to talk a little bit about what our impressions are based on their website, okay? So the first thing I wanted to say is that um, the, uh, the trike is not designed for everyone. It's designed for those who need a trike. Now, when I first got my e-bike, I probably could have used an e-trike. And many people have mentioned that when they saw the senior video that I did. And uh, they said, well, you're falling because uh, because you you uh, you need an e-trike. That's not the reason I fell, okay? The reason I fell a couple times was because when the bike leaned to the left, and that's where I had my uh, left knee replaced, I didn't have the strength in my leg or the knee to hold me and the bike up. So I went down. So in that case, an e-trike would have been nice to have. I probably would not have fallen because I would just sit there, right? That's what the e-trike is able to do for you. But uh, many people have said too in the comments that, you know, you can't ride an e-trike the same way you ride an e-bike. Like you cannot lean into the curve um, when you're turning. You, you, you've got to uh, you've got to ride it a little bit differently. So Learning to ride an e-trike is a little different than riding an e-bike, that's for sure, okay? All right, so looking off uh, camera here, it says that the battery is 480 watt-hours. Well, if you do the math on that, 480 divided by 48 volts, that gives you 10 amp-hours. I'm kind of surprised that they went with a smaller um, range for the battery. They, getting a 10 amp-hour battery, I, you know, maybe it's the size has to be a certain size to, to, to fit in there. But uh, yeah, you're only getting 10 amp hours. Most of their other bikes are 14 amp hour batteries. So they're giving you a smaller battery there. Uh, the charger is two amps, so it's a standard charger with it. Um, the display is pretty much like what you might see on the other bikes from Rad. Uh, there are pedal assist levels, but there are no, um, there's no derailleur on this bike, okay? So it's a single speed bike. So you have, uh, I believe, five levels of pedal assist, just like their other bikes. They do have a hub motor, which is in the front, uh, on the front wheel. Uh, let me read this to you. It's a little different. It says, uh, 750 watts brushless rad power bikes geared hub motor, uh, 5 to 1 planetary gear reduction. Uh, stated weight is the manufacturer's rated power capacity. Actual power to ground wattage is under 750 watts to ensure e-bike require uh, re e-bike regulatory uh, compliance and may vary depending on riding conditions. So what they're saying is that even though the 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 motor is rated to 750, you're not going to get 750. <laughs> you're going to get something less. Now we all kind of knew on the other bikes that um, you know even though they rated at 750, uh, it pe peaks out at 750. But maybe the true uh, motor may not be 750. In this case, they're claiming it to be 750. Now, uh, it, unless this is a totally different type of motor <laughs> than all their other bikes, um, you have to wonder what you're really getting here. And people have said that uh, it's truly, truly 500. 
and peaks at 750. I don't know what the case is here with this hub motor, but uh, this is what they're saying, okay? Um, it is pedal assist levels of five. It's a cadence sensor, not a torque sensor, which makes sense for something of this nature. Uh, the range they claim to be 20 to 55 miles plus. <laughs> That's a large range, okay? Everybody does this. All the manufacturers do this. Don't trust any of this stuff. You have to check it out for yourself. You know, everything depends on uh, a lot of factors. It's it's like uh, what your weight is, what the tr uh, the tr uh, the terrain that you're you're riding on. What 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 is it really that you're dealing with? And that will give you what your total uh, mileage really will be. You have to test it yourself, really. But um, considering they they don't have a very large battery on here. Makes me wonder how much you really can get, especially if you're a heavy rider like me. It could it could uh, be a lot lower than you think. Half twist throttle, okay, standard. Um, you're gonna need the throttle too. It's a single gear bike. In other words, there's no there's no gears. It's just one speed, all right. So if you're going up an incline, you're probably gonna have to throttle to move up, and then you can start pedaling at that point. But it's uh, it's it's not a big deal in my mind because uh, even for myself I have you know seven gears on many of my my bikes my e-bikes, but a lot of times I don't use those I I just throttle up and leave it at sixth or seventh gear okay so for lower uh, you know starting from a dead stop I'll just throttle to get to a certain speed and then I start pedaling so you can do the same thing with with this bike now. Uh, there is no USB port that comes with it, but there is an option that you can add. Um, I kind of wish that it was built in because my Rad Rover 5 has a built-in USB port, right? Uh, they started doing this when they started with the, the new model of like the uh, Rad Rover 6 Plus and like you had to add a, an accessory to get a USB port, which, yeah, costs you more money that way, <laughs> right? All right, how, what about brakes? The brakes, okay, front brakes are mechanical disc brakes. Rear brakes are coaster brakes. You know what a coaster brake is? You have to use your foot to stop that that bank, okay? Which which I think is kind of interesting because, you know, people with mobility issues who might buy this bike might not have the leg strength to stop the rear bi uh, rear tire. You know, if you have to step down on it in order to stop the brake, Right, to break it uh, might be kind of hard. So I think maybe it's because there's um, two wheels in the back and maybe to apply even pressure with a handbrake might be tough to do. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm guessing at this point, okay? But uh, I would tend to think that, you know, if, if you have mobility issues, you know, your legs have problems, it might be hard to, for somebody to use a, a coaster brake. It's just me, maybe maybe I'm wrong, okay? But I, I don't think so. I mean, if, if you have to step backwards to, to stop the, the bike. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's a different different type of thing. You gotta have to learn how to stop this bike. It's not two hand brakes. It's one hand brake and one coaster brake, okay? Um, what else? Um, 42T for crank set. Uh, there are no derailers on this thing because there is just one speed, okay? They include fenders. Uh, the fork is a rigid front steel fork, so there's no suspension on here, which makes sense, I think, for, for a trike. Um, the frame is made out of steel. It is not uh, aluminum, okay? The bike does weigh a certain amount of, of poundage, so we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second here. Um, the handlebars do, does fold down so that you're able to to move the bike into to, into a vehicle easier because uh, obviously you can't lay this thing down. Uh, you have to roll it right in. And there's a certain height, of course, to do that. So I think you're going to need a larger vehicle to transport this. And there is no really uh, trike-made um, rear rack that I know of that's like standard e-bike rack will fit this. You would, you would need something special if you needed to transport this or maybe a van or something like that where you can roll it into there. Um, so it's not as convenient. I think people who have mobility issues would probably have a hard time lifting that bike by themselves and putting it in. You're probably gonna need somebody else to help you with that. What else do we have here? <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about the weight of this bike. This bike is not light. It's 82 pounds with the battery or 73.6 pounds without the battery. So yeah, you, you can't really lift this easily. It's about as heavy as any other e-bike. So yeah, um, 415 pounds is the payload capacity. Now, 
they make a, a, a point to tell you how the breakdown should be. The, the rider should not be more than 325 pounds, and the, um, the rear rack can handle 60 pounds, and the front optional basket can handle 30. Add it all together, you get 415 pounds. So rider capacity, you know, uh, rider weight should not exceed 325 pounds, Okay. So uh, overall, what is my, my gut feel about this? I think it's a good idea that they have an e-trike. I'm just surprised that that's the most requested model because <laughs> based on co uh, comments from, from you guys, uh, you guys wouldn't be buying one of these. Um, yeah, of course you wouldn't be buying one. If you're already riding an e-bike, you're not going to buy an e-trike, <laughs> okay? This is for people who want to get back out on, on the outside and do things as well, but they have issues with, with, um, with mobility, I think that's really the best person who would ride an e-trike. Um, but it, uh, like I said, uh, it, it's, a, it's a new learning curve. People have mentioned to me that you can't ride an e-trike the same way as an e-bike. In other words, when, when you're turning, uh, they said that you, know, you can't lean into the turn because if you do that, you're going to tip over the bike all right? so, or, or the trike. <laughs> so you got, you got to learn to ride this a little bit differently than a standard um, e-bike would be ridden. Now, this is not the first time Rad has gotten into trikes because they do have a delivery uh, e-trike uh, from their commercial division. I think it's called the Rad Burrow, B-U-R-R-O. So if you look at their commercial division, they do have e-trikes, but it's built differently. I mean, th these are built for, you know, hauling heavy weights of things, okay? This is not a commercially made uh, uh, bike that an that average consumer would buy. This would be a, a bike that you would buy to, to do deliveries for. So, but they're familiar with it. So it's good that Rad is actually building something because they have experience in it. So that's a good thing. Anyway, if you're interested in, in something like this, uh, I do have a $50 discount uh, link that you can use in the description of my videos. And if you use that, that'll save you $50 on any Rad bike, whether it's this e-trike or any other the any of the other uh, Rad bikes. And um, all you need to do is just click on that link and then that'll bring you to the ordering page and then you can order the bike that you want at that point, save $50. When you do that, it saves, uh, saves you $50 and gives me $50 as well. <laughs> and many of you have done this, so I appreciate this. Um, I was uh, thinking I was going to get some type of bike as well, um, but it will not be this trike. Now, if um, Rad were to give me the trike to review, I would definitely take it in and do a review of it. But uh, for me to purchase it myself, no, I don't actually need one at this point. So it wouldn't really make financial sense for me to buy one at this point. So anyways, I just wanted to bring this up to you, let you uh, see it. Go ahead and go to the, uh, the Rad Power Bikes uh, uh, website if you'd like to see more about the e-trike. But it's, it's worth looking at, okay? Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.